While Paul shows you the silver bottle up close, I'm going to stand up here and have a glass of water because, you know, it's a lot of talking and stuff and we're kind of thirsty. And, but you know what? Something a little bit with more, a little bit more flavor might be nice. How about, we'll call that a, I don't know, what are you, raspberry drink. Uh, how about that? Something like that. Uh, but you know, uh, I've been reading lately about bone density and such and calcium. Maybe I should have instead a glass of milk. But you know what? What I would really like is, we'll call that some 7-Up, okay? <laughs> of course, none of these solutions were what I said they were. This is obviously a chemistry show, so these are chemical reactions that are happening here. Um, in particular, I'm not going to drink this, okay? Wouldn't be a good idea. Aside from the fact that there was, four, there was a concentrated uh, HCl, which is not, no longer concentrated, but still, there was HCl in there, this acidic solution. I don't really want to drink that. But aside from that, you might be wondering about this color here, the pink. I had a clear solution. This was actually a solution of sodium carbonate, but you couldn't tell. It was just clear. You know, salt is all but it's a basic solution because carbonate is a weak base. And when I poured it into this glass, this glass had in it a few drops of phenolphthalein. Anybody know what phenolphthalein is? It's an indicator. When you pour a basic solution into this, or drop, put a few drops of, of, of phenolphthalein in a basic solution, it turns pink. And uh, that's fine, that's part of the show here, but that would be a good reason not to drink this because does anybody know what else phenolphthalein is used for? Yes? A laxative. Very good. Okay, we'll have to get a shirt out to you, okay?